Hey everyone, I am Heather Rahman and welcome to Building Project with Vue.js. In this section, we will learn how to install Vue CLI and how we can create new projects. We will also begin implementing single file components. We will also have an introduction to the HTTP client Exeos to consume REST APIs. And we will also learn how to create custom components and how we can import them. In this video, we will learn how to install Vue using CLI and how can we create a new project with it. From the Vue.js documentation under the installation tab, we can find the Vue.js CLI official GitHub repository link. Go ahead and open our official CLI Git repository. Vue-CLI is a standard tool for Vue.js development. It provides build setups for modern front-end workflow and it only takes few minutes to get up and running with hot reload. Let's go ahead to the documentation and learn how we can install it. Go ahead and click on the, the link provided under the documentation. Go ahead and get started. Under the installation tab, we can see they have provided a command which we can use to install view CLI. Go ahead and copy that command. So let's go ahead and first create a project directory. Now move into that directory. Now here I can run the provided command to install Vue using CLI. Once the installation is completed, we can verify that we have installed correctly by checking the version of the view by typing view hyphen hyphen version and that should provide us with the latest version that is installed. Now that we have installed view successfully, the next step is to create a view project. Create a view project, the view hyphen CLI provides us with two options. The first one is by using the command line and creating a view project and the second one gives us a nice GUI interface from which we can create our new project. So let's go ahead and create a new project using the command line. In this video we will choose to go ahead with the default settings. Once we have successfully created the project, we have to move into its directory. After that, we can start our project by running command npm run serve. Now that we have successfully compiled our project, our project is hosted at two locations. The first one is localhost and the second one is on the network and any user can access it as long as they are on the same network as I am. So let's go ahead and look at this project on my local host. So this verifies us that our Vue.js app is up and running. 